Welcome to another Tech Radar Talks. My name is Ken Fulton, Computing Editor at Tech Radar. This is my first Tech Radar Talks, so I can only apologise in advance if it goes spectacularly wrong. But we've got some interesting stuff to talk about because it's all about destiny for this yes. uh, Tech Radar Talks. And there's a lot of new stuff going on with the new update that's uh, set to land. Um, for the people who maybe haven't played Destiny or revisiting it after a while, what's, what's that all about? So, yeah, House of Wolves DLC coming May 19th. Um, Bungie has been releasing sort of teasers and details about the new content and activities coming up. Um, last night they dropped quite a big one about the way gear and upgrades are going to work. But maybe, you know, if you drifted away, you got sick of the grind, you've been playing something else in the meantime, you know, I think maybe this is a really good opportunity to, to get back into the game. And there's so many people out there who must think, I've done everything, I've cleared every raid, every cave. Why should I go back, even though there's a new update? Um, someone like yourself, who I hear is a bit of a hardcore Destiny player. About 700 hours since so, September. So why, why, uh, why do you care about the new update if you do all? It cuts out a lot of the grind, um, particularly for players who have already got quite a lot of equipment, because all of it can just be upgraded really, really quickly and easily to the highest um, attack level without having to put all your experience and grind and grind and grind to level it up again. Um, which is great for everyone, I think. So we can just focus on you know, getting some of the cool new things, cool new weapons and armor with the new perks, seeing how they play, seeing how they work, and just focusing on the activities rather than the grind. And because you know, that was one of the big complaints, along with the lack of story that you know, people had about Destiny when it first came out. I think I'm pretty much the opposite of you when it comes to Destiny, because I played it for, I think, a couple of weeks after launch when it was all big, new and exciting, but I made it to the moon but didn't quite make it back again. Yeah. So, <laughs> if, so if I was to jump into a server with you when this update comes out, we're both Gonna, there's going to be a massive disparity in levels, um, but how yeah. would we approach the, the gameplay? Would we run around together and would I get killed a lot while you'd even get a scratch? I think if you only got to the moon, you're probably not the high enough level to be able to use the legendary gear, which a lot of this upgrades apply to. The upgrade path and thing is, is more for people who maybe got to level 20 or just above, maybe did a, a raid or two and then kind of dropped out, maybe dropped out at the start of the Dark Below with the previous DLC that came out. Um, because the way the previous DLC did it was completely the opposite of how they've announced that they're doing this. It was really time and currency intensive. Um, it just made things very kind of daunting and boring to you know grind and grind and grind the same equipment that you'd basically already been doing since September. Whereas this just cuts straight to the chase, lets you upgrade it all in a flash. And uh, another thing that they've brought in is the reforging system, which was previously exclusive to the Iron Banner limited time PvP event, where you could basically get a really cool weapon and then choose to reforge the perks on it over and over until you got something really, really powerful that you were happy with. That's now applicable to all the new guns, so it's much more open. People are going to have much more choice and control rather than just being reliant on the grind and hoping they get a random drop of something amazing. Um, so it's putting a lot of power back in the players' hands, which is really good. And it already seems like there's a lot of hype around this update. Um, more so than the Dark Below. Does it look like Bungie's kind of learned what went wrong in, in that one and has addressed it in this update? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, um, Deej, the community manager, he's very prevalent on Reddit um, and always says, you know, yes, we're reading, yes, we're listening. He responds to people. And, you know, the reaction to the announcement yesterday on Reddit was ecstatic. Everyone just being like, yes, thank you for finally, you know, listening to us and giving us everything we want. And it really, you know, speaks well for the, for the future of Destiny as a whole. Thanks very much for that, Matt. Pretty interesting stuff. Um, if that sounds good to you and you can't wait to go and play the DLC, let us know in the comments section below. Um, as for you, I uh, might probably see you in a server again, I'll maybe? I'll make sure I do, yeah. I'll drag you with me. You can try.